Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Chic. Now, um, you might be able to tell that we're in a different setting. I'm actually in Las Vegas, Nevada right now. Woo, first time ever. It's crazy. It is hot. There are uh, more people here in one place than I've ever seen before in my entire life. It is, it is so packed. There are also so, like a lot of boobs. Um, I'm sorry to like jump right into that, but it's, it's kind of on my mind. Like you can walk down the strip and there are just dudes there who want to hand you these cards with boobs on them. And like, as if they're like, don't worry, I've, I've looked at all these, it's okay. I have extras, don't worry about it. I've, I'm up to here with boobs, I'm good. And then people are just like walking their kids down the strip and there's boobs everywhere. Like, they're just sloshing through these piles of boobs. I don't know. Even more than boobs though, of course, slot machines. Everybody knows that. Document some amazing slot machines. This is one of the greatest. Wolf Run. And kitty glitter. What I didn't know was that there are actually Lord of the Rings slot machines and Star Wars slot machines, which are designed to draw me in like a moth and bankrupt me, apparently. I lost $20 in a Star Wars slot machine yesterday faster than if I had just flushed it down a toilet. Found a Star Wars slot machine. There's Luke right there. I'm about to win super big. Here we go, ready? Max bet. Just gonna do it. Max bet. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I won nothing. Alright, let's try it again. Max bet. Come on, Star Wars. Oh, bonus. Droid bonus. Game pays 50. I have only lost like six dollars already. Woo! Alright, max bet again. Here we go. I'm gonna blast my way to bigger wins. Awesome. Lost it again. Uh, this is the fastest way uh, on earth to lose twenty dollars. Alright, I found some Jawas and like a fucking beater. Here we go. Hold on. Bonus. Bonus. Irrelevant. Means nothing. I'm out of money. That took a minute and 40 seconds. Other than that, I have not found that, that Las Vegas is necessarily a geek beacon, uh, but planning your vacation for a totally dorky reason uh, ends up turning that around. The reason I'm here at all is because I, first of all, I wanted a vacation somewhere warmer than Seattle where it has been winter for the last 60 years or something, I don't know. Um, and also because this weekend was the Game of Thrones premiere on HBO and I wanted to celebrate it with a huge special occasion and, and do something outrageous. It turns out the MGM Grand where I'm staying does not have HBO, so in a hilarious uh, twist of hijinks that lasted several hours I ended up renting another room at the Motel 6 down the strip, which are, they're champs, their rooms have free HBO and they're apparently the only rooms in all of the Las Vegas Strip that have HBO. Anyway, so Game of Thrones review. I'm not going to put any spoilers in this, so feel free to watch if you haven't, if you haven't uh, had a chance to see the, the HBO show yet. I'm a major fan of the books. Um, I have turned a lot of friends onto the series. I have reread them. I just finished for the sixth time, I think. I have contemplated a Game of Thrones tattoo. Um, I am what you call a psychotic mega fan, I think is the terminology for me. So, uh, I, had, I had a lot of emotional investment, I've been following the development of this series for a long time. It completely blew me away. It felt like a labor of love, it felt like everyone who was a part of that was a fan of the books, um, and just massively like hit me right in the heart. And I cried, actually, I cried. I'm just gonna say that, put that right out there, that's embarrassing. Um, I didn't even cry, it wasn't even like a good part, like a, a, an emotionally invest, invested part or anything, it was the end of the credit sequence. I just started, I just lost it. I was like, I've waited so long. This is so beautiful. The credit sequence, by the way, was really cool. Anyway, leave me a comment. Um, tell me about what you thought of the Game of Thrones premiere, if you watched it, or tell me about an experience that you've had where a favorite book of yours got adapted to the screen and whether or not it succeeded. Today is Tuesday, April 19th. Portal 2 is out today, oh my god! I'm gonna be at home all day. Um, I get home from Vegas around 1, I think. So after that I'll be on Steam playing Portal 2. I'll put my Portal... <laughs> nope, not my Portal. I will put my Steam ID in the, uh, in the info in this YouTube video. So add me as a friend. Um, let's talk about Portal. I'm going to review Portal for you guys next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I will see you then.